Caleb, finally, the day is here. All the planning, all the stressing, it is all done. Now it is time to enjoy the best day of our lives. I get butterflies every time I think about this day. I cannot be more excited or more sure about marrying you. You are one of the good ones. More than that, you are the best one. I am so lucky that I get to marry my favorite person in the world. No matter what little thing doesn't go as planned today, it won't change what this day is all about. All of our friends and family are here to watch us start our forever. I hope you know how much I love you. You are going to look so handsome standing, standing at that altar. I can't wait to be on my way to you. Hang on tight, babe. We are in for a wild ride today and for the rest of our lives. I love you more, your bride. Kayla, October 12, 2019, the day I've said out loud more times than I can count. For the longest time, we both kept reassuring one another that it was still a long ways away and that we had plenty of time. Then all of a sudden, it was the beginning of 2019, and we were still pretending that we had plenty of time. April rolled around with the birds and, and, the, birds and the flowers <laughs> and maybe came our realization that we needed to get our asses in gear and make sure our special day goes perfectly. First of all, you killed it, babe. It doesn't matter that I'm writing this from my spot on our couch with Mapey cuddled up next to me. I already know that this day is perfect. This day will be the start of our journey, a journey that will involve love, laughter, children, dogs, successes, failures, and so much more that I am excited for. The realization that I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend makes me feel so whole. And in case my vows didn't cover it, I'm too dis and I'm too distracted to tell you later, I want to make sure you know that no matter what happens after this day, I have lived a better life than I ever could have imagined because of you. Being your husband will be the best thing I have ever been and will ever be. In an endless garden of flowers, I will always pick you. I love you and I'll see you soon. I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life, except on Patriots Sundays and during Red Sox October baseball. Just kidding. I promise to celebrate your successes more than mine and to brag about your accomplishments to everyone because I know you will. 
I promise to be the best father I can be to our future children to make sure they know how lucky they are to have such a wonderful mom. And lastly, I promise to be the best husband I can possibly be because you deserve nothing less. I promise to be loyal, loving, nurturing and honest, to hug you, laugh with you, make memories with you, and to make sure you know that I know that I'm the luckiest man in the world. You are extraordinary and I'm forever in love with you. I promise to always let you know when you're wrong. <laughs> I promise never to attempt an important conversation during a Patriots game. I promise to always force you to eat your vegetables. I promise to choose the buffet every, every time over just one course. And I promise to do my best to get us to Fenway at least once a year. But more than all of those things, I promise to take on your dreams with you and to make them ours. I promise to never go to bed angry, and I promise to choose you every day for the rest of my life. I love you. By the power vested in me by the great state of Maine, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss. <laughs> Like me. So Gina, I'm sorry for the speech, okay? I gotta 